Hi everyone, and yes, here I have got Corey T with me today. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good to see you again. Yes, thanks for having me back. Yes, we were talking a bit about just getting you back on here to do uh, one year on and what's happened in that year and sharing all sorts of wonderful things that have happened. So I'm going to hand it over to you. You tell me since I last saw you, I mean, you and I have contact in between. Yeah. So I've heard bits and pieces, but for the viewers, for them to hear your journey, you know, whether it's yeah. on your channel or in person, share yeah, what's so been going on. Okay, right. Well, so for people who didn't see that video, who might not have seen it, the last time I was on your channel, we were talking about how I had manifested the relationship that I'm in now. And that was about like two months into the relationship. Yes. <laughs> and, um, God, it feels like a lot. It just doesn't feel like that long ago. But yeah, um, the situation, just to have a brief catch up, was that me and my uh, uh, person, my specific person, we had been in separation for eight or nine months or something after a seven year long journey um and you know we'd been on and off and on and off for a long time and then there was a period of seven or eight months where we were not in communication he was at the other side of the world and I went into this big journey of uh reconnecting to myself and learning about you know really really going into self-love and um I was uh, watching all the videos like so many of you are <laughs> on YouTube and looking into manif manifestation and I did all the things to manifest my specific person. Um, the biggest one being reconnecting to myself again um, and learning really deeply about self-love and anyway long story short we uh, are we got back together and the relationship has just blossomed and grown ever since and so um it, if you want to see that story i'm sure that you can find it on agnes's channel or on you know my channel as well but um what happened what i was saying to you earlier agnes was just all the things that i've learned so we were thinking that it would be really cool to do a video about what you learn from being in a relationship that you've consciously created because there's lots it's not just like you <laughs> manifest the relationship and then all the manifesting stops or all the self-love stops and um, oh my god there's so many things that I've learned from having been in that manifesting 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 state which I now look back on as maybe one of the worst times of my life actually but also the thing that ch the catalyst for change, the catalyst that reconnected me to myself, the catalyst that um, gave me the awareness of how to go into um, an, a relationship and create a healthy relationship. Because we talk so much, don't we, about like um, how to create like a, a healthy relationship and communication and stuff um but yeah so, so anyway since since the last video me and uh my my partner have we've been traveling a lot we've been to lots of different countries and we've like had some amazing experiences and um things i never thought would be possible back then you know i couldn't imagine some of the things that happened because you know what they say about how you it's it's we, we like to have control over everything we're trying to imagine all these scenarios but let life surprise you because it surprised me beyond so many of the things that I could have imagined I mean like standing on a rooftop in Santorini in the most amazing beautiful dress with him and having these amazing photos there <laughs> that yeah. was just like a fairy tale or something it was crazy um but yeah, what were we saying? Well, I, I was saying before about um, the things that I've learned and one of them was um, ha just how important it is your connection to you, like to yourself. Because I, um, 
really think that what happened that one of the things that happened whenever uh, I got into this relationship is that I had like so many people that I speak to and that that I, I know it this happens so I forgive myself for it but what had happened was I just got so focused on the outcome of manifesting him and I did know consciously about self-love and I knew how important that was but when I got into the relationship I don't think I'd had time to like expand my life to to have balance to find balance to find all the things you know I'd have had moments of that particularly while I was in Italy and I'd been walking around and I'd be making projects I'd be doing my music I'd done lots of stuff that had reconnected me to myself but my life generally hadn't become that balanced so whenever we got into the relationship it was just like like a hoover I was just like sucked into it and I I really did for a while lose connection to myself but I was aware of it at the same time <laughs> I knew that it was happening I knew that like something wasn't right and I was it was something that I had to work on um but over the course of the year one of the main main things is that if I could go back and go back to that time and look at like the affirmations that I was doing and um, the way that I was so focused on that. I would know, I would, I know now how important it is to have that balance, to, to think about other things, like what other areas of my life do I want to manifest? What other things um, are important to me financially, like environmentally, like everything, friendships, what else is important to manifest because it's one thing to manifest a relationship but that's only one area of your life isn't it it's like yeah. it's like one part of the puzzle and what i've realized so much from being in the relationship is like yeah it's amazing to have someone there and to 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 have this part of my life but it isn't everything. It's not mm. my, it can't be my whole life. And it, it can't be because then you, you become that. You become the relationship, which is not who we are. We're, we're individuals that we come together in relationships. And so um, I think I, we've spoken about this before, haven't we, about like, really re really connecting to the things that you like that give you balance um because yeah i think i think it it just it i i definitely felt like you know there were times where i felt very anxious because it makes you more anxious <laughs> when you're like thinking about like the relationship as like the main source of your happiness or the best thing in your life which it might be, you know, it might be a beautiful, amazing thing. I'm, and I'm not saying that I'm not grateful because I'm so grateful for my relationship. But I did go through a time at the beginning where I was more focused on that than anything else. And I'd lost connection to those other things that were really important to me. And it made me feel unbalanced. And so, yeah. And then, and then what happened was because... <laughs> I started my YouTube channel. I was so excited. I was like, yay, I've manifested my relationship. I need to tell everybody that this is possible. And I started my YouTube channel. And then all of a sudden, my my life became about my business and my um, and no, my my business became about my relationship, and my relationship was about my business, and it was all like very encompassing, and I felt like all this pressure to to um people please <laughs> so then it was like I had to realize that that was another lesson and we were just again we were just talking about that weren't we we were talking about how that tendency that we you know have to put others before ourselves and to um to do that maybe as a as a trauma response even you know the people pleasing um mm -hmm aspect of, of trauma I didn't realize that it was such a big thing for me and so I I had to recheck and look back into myself about okay where am I giving my energy when am I giving it to myself how can I realign this and and this is the other thing that I really want to say as well because like 
I suppose in this community as well, this is all of this messaging of like, if you don't do this, then you yeah. won't get this. Or if you're th thinking or feeling this, then it's all going to go wrong <laughs> or you're going to manifest this or that. But the thing is that definitely for me at the beginning, I think you said the same for you as well. Like it takes some adjustment to like um, get used to being in a relationship, I think. And then I had loads of negative thoughts. I had loads of anxious thoughts. I had loads of uh, times where, and, and you know, it's human, it's human to do that. But I think what saves it, what protects it is the awareness, mm. the awareness of like, oh, I'm doing that thing again. Oh, I'm, I'm looking for external validation. Oh, I've, I've really lost connection to myself and I'm feeling really physically uneasy and low and worried or unbalanced and being able to see it is your like safety net you know from like letting those things go and letting them spiral do you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah yeah I think um it's such a learning curve to balance and to maintain balance I think that's one of the most well, it's one of the easiest things to let slip when something's taking off, whether it's your business, whether it's your relationship, all of a sudden your head goes on to that. And then this stuff over here, the getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, eating properly, all these things that we know for self-love, they start to slide a little bit yeah. each day. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And Creeps that was that was one of the big things as well, like even little things like diet and exercise and all of that. <laughs> I, mean, I, I joke it like jokingly call it boyfriend weight. Like I put on so much weight at the, at the beginning of our relationship because I was just all like, ah, <laughs> in a relationship, the one that I wanted. And I'm so, you know, I just, we were just like so happy and we still are like so happy with each other and we just love each other. And it was like, yeah. oh, I'm loved. I'm loved, I'm loved, I'm loved. And so that you forget to give that to yourself because you're getting it all the time. So, oh my God, guys, just please be aware of that when you get into these relationships. Like, <laughs> yes, it's like so nice to have someone just love you and like say, I love you no matter what. But make sure that you're producing that for yourself as well. Because then like what happened with me, you know, I'm telling you my mistakes so that you don't have to make the same ones. And now this is the stuff that I tell to my clients. But like, <laughs> it's like, I, I did, I put on loads of weight because I was like and and then I not that there's a problem with that I don't like it doesn't matter but the thing is that it happened because I wasn't giving that attention mm. and love to myself with the things that I normally do you see and like mm. I then felt uncomfortable in um the way that I was feeling about myself and I was thinking what's wrong you know what's wrong but then I realized okay as soon as I started going right what can I do to really really focus on my self-love here and there were things like um right how can I show my body love with what I'm putting into it how can I show my body love with what I do with it how can I show my body that I appreciate it and what it can do for me and then you know doing things like that like I started going to the gym uh, not even that long ago honestly and it's been revolutionary like absolutely <laughs> revolutionary I I it's helped me even more reconnect to myself and um yeah it's, it's been great because you you know when you do these things you give yourself space you go off on your own you meet other people and it helps create that balance it helps create that time that's just yours the part of your life that's just yours and not uh, about the entire um relationship you know not your life isn't just about the relationship as a, as a whole um but yeah that definitely my relationship is a really really big part of my life we spend so much time together we're you know we're together a lot we sh we have had so many amazing experiences together and we're gonna we've got so many more plans and it's great because it's that companionship that we all want and deserve 
Um, and it is, it's a tricky thing, isn't it? Finding that balance because, you know, we want this part of our lives so much and absolutely like Agnes has proved with her relationship and so many people that you see on the internet have proved that it's possible for you to create a, a relationship, the one that you want. Um, mm. But don't forget the one with yourself. <laughs> because that one is never going anywhere. <laughs> That's right. That's but right. I'm just plugging thing, in. I'm just keep talking. I'm just plugging in. That's all right. Um, the other thing that I was going to say as well is like, I think I had this unrealistic expectation of myself to be calm and happy and just okay all the time about the relationship. <sighs> And I think that might have come as well from some of the messaging that I'd been absorbing from um, the internet about in order to create a healthy relationship, you need to be in order to, you need mm. to feel and all of that. And I think like, for me, it made me feel really bad if I felt bad or it made me feel really worried if I had an anxious thought or it made me feel really um you know not safe to feel bad and what I think that one thing that really really helped me was to just allow myself to be human you know allow myself to be totally human and and be like okay yeah I'm having some anxious thoughts and that's okay I'm having um I'm 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 processing something here. I'm learning, and to see those times of anxiety as necessary in order for me to evolve, in order for me to learn something, and so mm. rather than being afraid of them, like embrace them and say, "Hi, yes, anxiety, I see you. What what can I learn from you today?" You know, not like, "Oh no, this anxiety is going to ruin my my relationship, and I'm going to sabotage it, and everything's going to go wrong." Because yeah human you know <laughs> we can't do that yeah and so like I think le learning to like listen to listen to my body was like such an important thing and learning to honor any um anxiety that came up and often that anxiety was because of a lack of connection to myself too yeah. much energy being put into something or someone else yeah. And that's when anxiety seems to come up for me. And actually, even as I'm saying this, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, that is the thing when you're like overthinking about someone else and you're mm. thinking that that something else is the source of your happiness mm. or even like in business or in whatever, whatever you're doing that's over giving will create your body to go. Hi, what about me? Yeah. And your body yeah. will speak to you. So you have to like tune into it. So yeah, like there's, oh yeah. And the, what was it that I said? Shame, shame. Yes. Oh my God. Like, you know, it's like, it goes unnoticed. It's like this sort of silent discomfort. Yeah. Um, because in society, um, there was, uh, there's so much stuff about don't go back to someone who hurt you you're not self-loving if you go back to someone who hurt you mm. um if you you know like it felt like I was wrong or bad for wanting what I wanted or wanting who I wanted and I I, I was carrying all of this like shame that I was you know protecting my authenticity really and I was sort of covering up like the old story to family or friends or something, or mm -hmm. um, I was defending it. I was saying, you know, like, oh, everything's different now, just so you know, you know, everything's better now. And like, you know, and I was just really over defending it and over explaining and yeah. over trying to make other people perceive me in a, in a way that they'd think, oh yeah, she's really got it sorted out now. <laughs> but the thing is, <laughs> thing is that um I just <laughs> honestly I I I realized you know what if people think I'm bad 
for wanting what I want and for being who I want to be with and for intuitively knowing that this is the path for me to follow in order for me to evolve, whatever the hell that means, then mm. I'm bad. I'll, yeah. I'll own it. I'll own yeah. it. Just, I'm a bad girl then. You know, like just owning that um, that truth, like that, that it, I wanted to be with this person, that I want to be with this person, despite mm. what the past looked like, despite what happened before. Mm. For me, it was the right thing and is always the right thing for me to follow what I, the, what feels right for me at the time. Mm. And part of what made it sometimes feel like, is this right? Should I not do this? Should it, am I doing the right thing? Was the idea that maybe I was bad or wrong or not self-loving for yeah. wanting what I wanted. So I decided to just be like, okay, well, if, if that makes me bad, then I'm bad. I'll own it. Yeah. You know, like spank me then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like just um I just decided to just own that that sense of shame. Mm. I think lots of people carry that in many areas, you know, through cultural norms, religious um traditions and all sorts of things they've got an enormous amount of shame on wanting what they want feeling what they feel mm. um you know expectations of family or whatever you feel like you might be letting someone down by feeling what you feel and like it's mm. more self-loving honestly to 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 be true to what you want and be true to um who you are as long as you've got your boundaries and as long as you've got your awareness of what you deserve and what's right for you and, you know, all of that stuff. And I, I, I think like if you've got those things and you've really understood like what is right for you and what you will and won't accept, then wanting what you want is fine, you know. And so um, you can let go of some of that shame or just own it, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was I think Karina too it's the transiting from being a child to an adult is letting go of what people think even in your own family even in your circle of friends that you say you know what I know you don't approve of this but I'm doing it anyway because this is what I want and you can either accept it in the long term and see the changes that have been made and if you can't then I can accept that because you can live with people's not liking f what you're doing or not wanting what you want for yourself. You can get to the place where when you've got more of that mature adult mindset that you don't need everyone to like you and you don't need everyone's approval and you can live with the fact when it's not um, being given. And that, I think, is such a freedom in that, such yeah. a freedom yeah it's liberating isn't it yeah it's, it um, is and it takes time because yeah. you do you do transit from being a child to an adult especially I think with family the family and family dynamics yeah. that's where I think you notice it the most yeah yeah definitely I I see it so much like I see it within myself and like how my relationship changed so much when I became an adult, you know, when I owned what I wanted and I wasn't yes. asking for anyone's approval. Um, it's it's an amazing thing, actually. I think it actually makes you have more respect for yourself and more and people have more respect for you when you do that as well. Yeah. Um, uh, there was another thing I was going to say. Oh, yeah. The other th the other very important lesson was. Um, uh not trying to control Johnny like not trying to control him because I think that what would trigger me initially was if he felt down or sad or bad or he was angry about something or I would try and fix it I would just really really try and fix it try and make it go away I would because like honestly like looking back I can see I was being quite uh selfish because I was not feeling comfortable with him feeling unhappy because it made me feel more vulnerable and I wasn't okay with that and yeah. and I I wanted him to feel better so that I would feel better because if he was like upset or down and I wasn't sure what was going on I'd be like I need to know why I need yeah. to know what's happening not because I need to know that he's okay but because I need to know that we're okay and like yeah. I see 
that that was quite manipulative and that was uh, that was something I definitely did at the beginning and one of the most loving things that you can do for someone I think now is allow them to feel what they feel allow Mm. them to process their sadness allow them to feel their grief allow them to get through it on their own because it gives them the opportunity to learn whatever it is that they need to learn and we can't do that for anyone Mm. and like I had to like handle my own triggers you know like I had to like really really handle my own uncomfortability but part of doing that is being okay with having uncomfortable emotions if we can't tolerate our own uncomfortable emotions how do we then tolerate someone else's and so like there's there's learning to tolerate your own uncomfortable emotions and then in doing so allowing other people to have theirs because Mm. what I've found with Johnny is that when I just allow him to feel what he feels don't try and meddle with it or make it go away he will naturally just come to me anyway you know he'll he'll within his own time he'll he'll come to me and and want my support want my love Mm. want my you know um he'll ask for my support rather than me giving it to him without him needing it or wanting it you know yeah and I think part of that comes from like that old uh thing of like having a sense of purpose if you can fix someone having a Mm. sense of purpose if you can um make something go away make the bad feeling go away or whatever that's probably why uh I ended up in this uh career (laughs) but like but you know it it's um it's not it's not when you're doing it like that it's not um it's not what's the word um unconditionally loving it's it's manipulatively loving and and that is not what I do anymore because I realized oh my god whoa because he would be like can you just can you just let me just I just feel like this and I'd be like yeah but why (laughs) Uh, what can we do to make it go away and he'd be like just let me feel it and then I have to go away and take myself into another room like give him space and now I understand it's okay it's now the trigger is like yeah. minimal compared to what yeah. it was before you know yeah yeah so that was a big lesson allow people to feel what they feel yeah you know? for sure and and deal with what it brings up in you and yeah if it's the like you say identifying that you are uncomfortable or you have a need to be needed yeah. or what is it you know and you work it out and then you go okay let me just pause and feel my stuff and process my stuff in another room or go for a walk and do yeah yeah whatever it is you you just got to look after your own self in that time it's really yeah. interesting to see what it brings up when you're in relationship when they're going through something yeah what does that bring up in me yeah 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 it's been that's been a big yeah uh, learning curve definitely yeah but we've I mean together as a couple as well we've we've learned so much about communication you know Mm. about owning your triggers rather than saying you make me feel or you made me feel we say I feel whatever when whatever and then we're like oh yeah okay I can make sense of that rather than like blaming or criticizing or yes we we definitely did like that at the beginning like at the beginning there was turbulence you know it was like sort of like teething issues of like (laughs) like how do we relate to each other how do we understand like it was just getting used to it but we've definitely got so much better at at communicating um than we used to and I think that's the thing you know you do have a, a time of like getting used to used to each other and getting used to the way you're living and stuff like that adjustment period and I think that's okay and I think sometimes there is this sort of in this community there can be like an expectation of I have to have it all figured out Mm -hmm. I have to have everything figured out but relationships are the place where you grow the most I think yeah you learn so much and you're gonna get triggered and that's good you know like it's like it's an opportunity to uh to evolve when whenever those things happen yes definitely 
at the beginning, I was very, um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more anxious than I am now. And I was worried about the old story repeating and I was, um, you know, thinking, what if this happens or what? And not and I knew I was doing it I think that's what protected me is that I knew what was happening I knew the old story was was uh there because it had been there for a very long time and I was a lot I was over time learning to let it go and I was seeing witnessing rather than being in um mm. what my thoughts were doing so now over time my sort of nervous system has got used to being in a relationship because honestly I think like for me being in a relationship as a as a thing and was a trigger because I I had had a history of like my you know my dad left when I was young obviously we know that that, that creates some anxious attachment stuff and I'd had many many um times of being very hurt and just just seeing abandonment all over the place um and I just um had to calm down my nervous system with being in a relationship so that I could accept that this is okay for me it's safe for me it's safe for me to be in relationships like kept telling myself that it's safe for me you know like trusting yourself Mm. oh yeah that's the other thing you know we hope oh I want to be able to trust my partner I want to be able to trust my partner but actually honest to god it's about trusting yourself yeah because when you trust yourself you as a byproduct of that find it easier to trust other people but we yeah. don't trust ourselves to handle yes any uncomfortable emotions so mm. we then look at the other person for that security and that safety and that certainty and we can't have that we can't have that from outside of us we have to get it from from the inside and there's a reflection of that trust and that self-security then you then see it in the other person as well so yeah oh, those, those were the big things that I that's have learned great. it's um you know I think attracting a specific person which you and I have experienced it's like the tip of the iceberg of the work you're going to do after but I do think the more you get quicker at trusting yourself trusting life surrendering and letting go seeing that this is an opportunity for you to see what what you still need to work on and you you welcome it more because you know ah look at where I am now compared to where I was 10 years ago yeah within myself look at what I learned look at what I understand and then you think wow I've matured because being in a meaningful relationship for a long period of time is about you maturing and giving your childish behaviors really in a lot of ways and childish as in they came from childhood but then you never kind of had the opportunity to improve until you were in a relationship that you know is safe and you're secure and you still need to just clear some stuff and like you're saying communicating clearly and sharing certain things and sometimes you might have a bit of an argument or you might go oh god I just don't understand what's going on here because I'm so locked into my stuff yeah but you take you take a walk and you talk to you know source and you surrender and let go you come back you regroup you talk about it again and then you get through things much quicker yeah and it's not so much about the disagreements as it is the opportunity to recover from yes things you know yeah. that's the real strength in it and uh yeah yeah it's it is. The, and, and learning as well like definitely another thing that I had the opportunity and have had the opportunity to learn and out outgrow that pattern of you know doing what I felt he wanted me to do or being the way that I thought he wanted me to be like that was a a surefire way to disconnect from yourself (laughs) yeah yes so so it can be scary to challenge that at first it can be scary to say no actually I don't want to watch that movie and and actually I don't want to drink alcohol tonight or 
I don't want you know to say no to things that you yes. know that the other person would like to do yeah. um that's that can be quite scary at first but it's yeah. something that I I knew I had to do and now yes. I really enjoy doing that <laughs> we actually laugh about it he'll say do you want to do this and I'll go no. <laughs> <laughs> no no and he'll just laugh he'll be like all right okay yeah. <laughs> and now I feel like more embodied in myself than I did before yeah, yeah. and that is evolving and growing all the time so yeah. yeah it's been a very crazy journey and like an amazing one you know like yeah. an amazing you just I think like as a as a inspiration to other people you can just know that like um I'm not saying I'm I'm not saying I'm an inspiration but as inspiration for other people although who knows but like you you know that anything is possible anything is anything is possible and like rather than like trying to control the specifics of everything allow things to surprise you because yes. literally that's the the playfulness and the fun of life and the wonder of life is like not knowing mm. everything yes but so you can let go of some of the details and say let all right then life all right then universe surprise me then in an amazing way I'm ready yeah. you know like so many things have happened like so many conversations that we've had as well even that are like whoa I, I could never imagine us having this conversation before or like I yeah. can't believe how much we've grown or yeah and um places that we've been and like adventures that we've had and situations and yeah you know it's been a very colorful vibrant um loving year of yeah. um really understanding this part of my life a lot more yeah um, and I'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination that it's always been easy because it just hasn't yeah you know like it, it, there's been times where you know I've spoken to you sometimes in the journey of like doing my coaching business and like doing being in the relationship and navigating some of my uh stuff um there's been moments where I've been like oh my god <laughs> what's yeah. this what's this what does this mean and but yeah. it's funny because I watch um uh Johnny like learning what he's learned so he's learning a skill at the moment and there is some t days where he's like I absolutely don't know the answer to this I don't yeah. know and then and then he always overcomes it he always does he he thinks that he's not going to be able to figure it out and then he does like yeah. always and it yeah. inspires me because I'm like yeah like when we have those mental blocks about not knowing the answers to something we do mm. find a way to figure it out we can trust ourselves to do that yes you know? yes yeah for sure and it's lovely watching you know the man in your life your relationship go through those things and you see wow I really love that about them and I really inspire it inspires me to to when I hit a wall to go okay hang on you know he worked that out we've worked things out between us and this is just another thing that we will be on the other side of and it's, yeah I think that's what builds the love and the real yeah. beautiful where you support each other and yeah you share your struggles within what you're both doing and I love that in my relationship is just like you're really there to give each other relief as well as give yourself relief. It's like yeah. two givers makes for a wonderful relationship. It's such a special thing. It's a really special thing that I do hope that the people here today watching this will be able to experience themselves because yeah. it's, it is just, it's, um, it's like, Oh, this is what I've always wanted and it, it's so much more than the relationship it's about me becoming so much better to myself in how I treat myself and the yeah. balance achieve between relationship yeah. and non-relationship stuff yeah and and but in, to, in doing that you lead the way you know by yeah. you, you giving yourself that love you lead the way in the relationship so that you mm. yeah you're like this is how it goes sort of thing yeah and yeah. you yeah you get then you see that mirrored 
to you in the way that they treat themselves and the, the way that they treat you know you as well yeah, um, totally. definitely noticed that so much but I notice it more and more like maybe it wasn't so much at the beginning of our relationship but over time like through me understanding more and more about myself and understanding how important it is to like you know prioritize my needs and my you know my yeses and my nos and all of that it has evolved into be more and more loving more and more open more and more honest as the relationship's gone on you know mm. and like you say I think it's like it's quite a quite a nice mindset to have like we can get through this we can yeah. get through this disagreement it's okay yeah. for us to disagree on something with two different yes. people and yeah. we will navigate through it like we always do like we have yeah. you know and that's like quite a strong mindset to have about to, to build a strong relationship totally totally so yeah. lovely to hear where you've been and what's happened and yeah it's like a real um it's like the dust settles on the relationship yeah yeah that's it that's what I've noticed like I think there was a shift even after our like first year like anniversary like there was a there was a sort of sense of like <sighs> I don't yeah. know I don't know why I don't know if it was like a, a sort of psychological sort of landmark thing that my my unconscious went ah oh, you know like yeah. we I can relax now sort of thing yeah but yeah. you know I always could but it's taken my unconscious mind a while to, to yeah. really get it you know for sure for sure yeah. well thank you Karina for just coming back and talking about it and it's it's nice I think for people to see the timeline and the progression and yeah. you know sharing the honesty and the potholes along the way I think it makes it more believable and understanding for yeah. those that are still there that there is not just hope but there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel there really is yeah. so oh yeah definitely because I was just and you were as well you know in the yeah. situation where you're wanting someone where yeah. you're like how is this going to work out or this seems so impossible you yeah. know and even you know no, no matter what things just change don't they things change in yeah. whatever way that might be you're not going to be yeah. stuck in that low desperate needy or mm. um just lonely place because I found it very lonely as well yes and yeah part of growing into self-love is is reconnecting and like basically being like your total best friend and like yeah. giving yourself that confidence things are going to change yeah. things are going to change yeah. this is going to get better and yeah mm. I just also like absolutely believe in every everyone watching this uh that it's possible for you know you to experience an amazing relationship of course yeah, yeah. um and yeah, I, just, I hope that this this has given some people some ideas about mm. how to find that balance in the process of manifesting a specific person mm. and that importance of like connecting to yourself. For yeah. sure. I will put down below the first interview you and I did, and I will also put down below all your bits and pieces so that people can find you and contact you and so good to see you always just a thrill to have a conversation about stuff and and just watching the success and the results it's just like oh <laughs> it's all worth it in the end it really yeah. is yeah it's hard to see when you're in it but but once you're on the other side you go oh my god I get now why I had to do all that I get yeah it. totally so, yeah. yeah it's uh trust the trust the process trust say. the process and even if you don't you, you you can still end up in a really good place even if you don't trust so it's yeah. possible yeah yeah exactly. well do you want to say goodbye to everybody and then I'll say yeah. goodbye and then we'll say bye in private yeah well goodbye <laughs> everyone <laughs> thanks for watching if you watched all of this and uh yeah 
thank you for having <laughs> me on your channel it's it, uh, yeah it's really nice to say hello again and yeah awesome beautiful and i will put the link down just in case people don't know karina has got a channel uh, under corey t so i'll put the link to her channel down below and bye everyone i'll see you as always in the next interview or youtube and i will put the links to what we discussed in the description below also and i'll see you soon <laughs>